This looks interesting. Oh, Minecraft. Bro, what about me doing Minecraft, though? What is there to do with Minecraft? Like what game mode? A special place in his heart for his family. This is how Juice World spent his game millions. Mode Not only a talented artist, but he also had a great appreciation for luxury cars. And in his time of fame, whoa, he copped whoa. a crazy stacked garage. One Minecraft of his most right prized now. possessions, though, was it. a 2019 Lamborghini Huracan. I, I could, I deleted it, but yeah, Huracan. Juice had a. I never realized Juice cars collection. I don't think I ever saw. We all know the classic uh, Lambo, but that wasn't the extent of his impressive collection. Uh, he also bought a Rolls-Royce Cullinan. The 2019 Rolls-Royce Cullinan is a top-of-the-line luxury SUV, and Juice loved this bro, thing. How did Juice's Cullinan this, was no ordinary model, though. As a millionaire rapper, remember, he owned a custom Black car. Badge Cullinan. The Black Badge Cullinan is a special edition with what? crazy features what? that set it apart from the standard version. Also Yo, what? So picking up a Corvette later in his I career, like Juice like was not afraid to drop some cash to have the best ride in town. He didn't spend nearly as much on this, though, as some other things. Bro, where, where's but the pictures at? Where are you getting this info from? It wasn't just all about flashy cars and extravagant mansions for Juice. From? His love for his family always remained close to his heart, and he made sure to take care of them with his fortune. Money exactly. money don't equal happiness, but at the same time, being <laughs> financially <laughs> stable. Green, not better on Lamborghini. Yes, bro, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Agree? Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Green, Loki is slept on. Very slept on. It's off some stress. Very slept on. Stress in your life. So mm, very it damn near kind of add on to Especially happiness. green insides. Green, like green seats. You, you need to see the vision. Green seats. Green seats. Green seats inside too. Wait, let me see. So, green, Lambo. Bro, what's going on? Why can't I type? I'm tripping. Bro, come on. Green seas, bro. Come on, bro. Wait. Green lamb, bro. Uh, seats. Fuck. Why can't I fucking type today? I'm... Yo, yo, yo. My, my type is off. I'm actually off the perk. I'm actually off. Bro, something like this? Actually, no, that's too much. Something like this, some chill stuff. Like, something chill like this, and why is the pixel so bad? But some, look at Is this a video game? Is this a video game? The fuck? This one look real. But it's not a light. Man. Lambo, do y'all think about it? But they don't equal it, obviously. I mean. I fired. wasn't all sad when I ain't had no money. You know, like I made the best of my situation. Right. Okay. But being financially stable is one That's last thing to worry about. Whenever but you're rich, Juice's you got millions weren't worry always spent like in me. the smartest of ways. Like well, me. we'll get to that in a minute. Like me. After his passing, Juice's okay, estate was valued me. at three point <laughs> three million dollars, and he made sure to leave a significant uh, portion of his money for his mother. Hey, With the crazy sum of money left over, his mom was able money. to purchase a super luxurious uh, eight million dollar mansion that she'd always dreamed of. Copying this mansion not only secured Eight a future, mil. but also served as a constant reminder of Juice's love Whoa. for her. But like I said, Juice wasn't always the Whoa. smartest with his money. Because one Whoa. time, Juice dropped thousands on thousands on thousands for I'm exclusive close. ATVs and dirt bikes to race around his oh, mansion. Bro, that's fun. Bro, that's fun. Well, I want to ride a dirt bike and then have ATVs, bro. Bro, that's fun, bro. That's my baby right here. It was so fun, bro. Imagine seeing I was riding like, I, bro, you was no hands, dude. I was riding this thought you was Jesus. Nice. Behind the flashy lifestyle and the fame, he carried a deep sense of responsibility toward his community and those in need, though. A major part of Juice's fortune was directed towards philanthropy, a side of him that wasn't as publicized as his crazy splurges. For Ooh, instance, what? after the release of his hit song Lucid Dreams, a deeply personal track that delved into the intricacies of mental health, Juice made a significant uh, contribution uh, to the mental health organization. Put your girls at the prettiest place. Aww. Aww. It's so cute. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. You a good person. You a good dude. <laughs> See, a nigga like me would buy a track cock and call it a day. It's like, no. <laughs> that you may go through whether it be heartbreak anxiety depression loneliness detachment everything that you're it's okay to through. be lonely i got you and i'm here i'm holding I'm your here. hand just like this he didn't just it's use okay. his music to shed light on these vital issues he took active steps it's to okay. make a difference ensuring his impact extended beyond the realm of music itself and after he passed i just was receiving receiving such an outpouring 
of just how he changed their lives. Yeah. And I felt like it was a void. The rapper's generosity didn't stop there, though. Nah, 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 and just get being it. a native of Chicago, he was deeply committed to his the He constantly poured resources it. into local charities, focusing particularly on. I seen, I seen you a bedtime story, right? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder who you are. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shit. I forgot the rest. But, uh. But be grateful. I seen you a bit high, sir. Those that uplifted the youth. He understood the transformative power of education and empowerment, and he used his wealth to fuel initiatives that gave young people better opportunities. In many instances, he preferred to give back directly, without the involvement of any organizations. Whether it was handing out $100 bills to kids you, in his neighborhood, or buying meals for the homeless, Juice's philanthropy was Jeff, as direct and you. impactful as his lyrics were. This side of Juice World, Jeff, often hidden beneath you. his extravagant lifestyle and raw talent, showcased a thoughtful and caring individual who was the Bro, surgery? Bro, get some sleep, bro. A surgery? Aw. Oh. Hey, bro, I hope you feel better, bro. I hope you get better soon. Hope you feel better soon, bro. Get, get, get a good night's sleep, bro. I hope you, I hope you feel better soon. His fortune to bring about change. The rapper's millions, while often spent on fast cars and flashy watches, were also dedicated to a purpose greater than himself. You gotta respect it. But that's obviously not all, because after all of this, Juice still had millions left. So how on earth did he spend this money for real? You just take your hand out the fridge. No, Yeah, damn. Juice World was big into jewelry and watches, just like a ton of other super wealthy superstars. His collection of high-end timepieces was vast and diverse, showcasing an appreciation for both contemporary and classic styles. Not only did he enjoy wearing these insane watches, but he also took pride in learning about the intricate craftsmanship and history behind each piece that he owned. After all, how would you not want to know why the watch on your wrist costs more than most people's yearly salaries? Among his wild collection were a custom Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, coming in at about $235,000. Quarter of a mil on watch. God damn. Rich. And, and then now the price goes up over time, bro. Bro, in a couple years, that's probably going to be peaking, almost touching 300 k A Patek Philippe. That stretch? That might be a stretch. I have no doubt watches work. Nautilus. Actually, that might not be a stretch. That might be true. At about 120,000 or more, a true staple in luxury watches, and of course, Juice had a soft spot for Rolexes, as does anyone with his money. He invested into several models like the Day Day, the Submariner, and of course, the Daytona. Juice's watch portfolio ended up being That's roughly so $500,000 just on watches. That's, That's so crazy, fire. man. Not nearly as crazy though is how Juice managed to spend a crazy amount of money just to one up one of his friends. It's <laughs> so good. It's a good. Come on, man. I got 30 seconds. How much money? Ooh. When Juice made his appearance on Complex's show Sneaker Shopping, Juice World made history by shattering oh, yeah. his friend and fellow rapper's Future's previous record of spending the most money on sneakers and Look, apparel in a single bag. episode. Future had managed to spend a Productive. whopping $38,900 on shoes Damn. and clothes in his episode, and until Juice rolled around, no guest even came close to that number. After all, with Juice's love for sneakers, it only felt right that he would be the one to crush the That's record fire. and leave Future in the dust. Juice World was a breath of fresh air on the show, discussing his favorite TV shows, fashion inspirations, and the early days of his career. But the moment that made headlines was when he blew past Future's record by spending the insane amount of $42,000 Damn! In Juice, I saw you in Australia, you pulled up the culture. You spend that money on some sneakers, that's, that's 42000 You could really buy a car with that. You could buy a decent car with 42000 Crossed someone Damn. over and made them fall in Flint Jordan 13s. You're pretty good at basketball. Yeah, I, I could do a little something, something. <laughs> I used to play back um, in like school, going all the way up to my freshman year in high school. I took it seriously for, for a minute, but yeah. It wasn't just Juice's impressive spending spree that caught people's attention, but also his collaborations with Future, making it all the more ironic and funny that he would come on the show just to not only break, but crush his friend's spending spree record. If it's a position even open for taking, I think we can consider Juice World the king of sneaker shopping. That is, until someone breaks his record, I suppose. But you know what Juice World record will never be broke by anyone? Or at least for Free the sake style? of their bank account, I hope nobody will try. Wait, what? Is how much Juice World spent on his own 21st birthday how on much? gifts for his family. Not even himself, that's right. He decided to buy some crazy gifts Wait, for his good. family. 
This day racked up over $200,000 on his account, and all the crazy surprises were just for his loved ones. He really loved to Whoa. give back. Anything from diamond encrusted watches and necklaces to wow. designer clothes from Gucci and Louis Juice did bought for his family. You gotta wow. respect the fact that he supported his family to that high of a degree, but don't think for a second he forgot about his own thriving brand. Juice's passion for fashion extended beyond his personal style, as he launched his own clothing brand called 999 Club. He was estimated to have dropped over a million dollars in the brand's creation, from designing unique and stylish pieces, That's to promoting crazy. the clothing line through social media, and collabs with other nah, huge nah, nah. artists. This wild investment, though, was a testament to Juice World's commitment to his brand and his determination to make it a success. Through the 999 Club, Juice World aimed to share his distinct sense of style with his fans, while also providing a platform for expressing his creative vision and further solidifying his legacy. Like a Juice man, so inspirational. With all that being said, Juice spent his money in a ton of different ways sharing with his family, but also spoiling himself as he deserved. If you did make it this far, make sure to subscribe and click the video on screen That's right so now, and I'll see you later. That's so fire, bro. Rip juice roll. 999 in the comments, please. 999, bro.